Well, she's been a magazine editor, TV producer, author, media commentator, the founder of natural cleaning products, Green Goddess, and now has her own afternoon show, The Long Lunch, on Radio Live. Please welcome to the cafe, Wendell Nissen. Yes. Hi. Thank you very much. There's not much of the media that you haven't done. Um, really great to have you here. Congratulations on the new Radio Live show. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's a steep learning curve for a girl from print. Uh, but I'm, I'm loving it. You're yeah, doing really good. Enjoying and it's it. something quite different too. So tell us a little bit about your, your, the theme well, of it. Well, it's basically, uh, it's from 12 till 3 in the afternoon. So it's sort of, it's more lifestyle than you'd normally find on Radio Life. I think Radio Life yeah. has a reputation as being kind of a talk show. Uh, so we have, we have talk as well, but it's more lifestyle. And it's basically the show I'd like to listen to. Yeah, well, I like I was... to listen to it. So you're winning there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we do, you know, we do, uh, we do a good, strong news hour, look at the news of the day. And then we do gardening, travel, cooking, books, you know, all that kind of lifestyle stuff that I used to do in the mags. I'm just bringing it onto the radio, so it's Ooh, fun. And, and you yeah. do such a good job, I love it. Oh, love thank it. you. You need to listen, everybody. Radio Live, <laughs> check it out. Get the app, Rover. Um, OK, right. <laughs> good on you. I love you. Yeah, you don't have to do your own plugs. You've got my <laughs> That's right. Um, OK, let's talk Princess Di. So you were an editor at the time of her death? Yes, I was editing the Women's Weekly, um, and I think everyone knows where they were on that Sunday. Yeah. I think everyone has a story about where they were when Di Diana died. So on the show today, on The Long Lunch, we're devoting it to Diana and, it, and people's memories and we're getting some magazine, ex-magazine editors. But yeah, it was a Sunday, my friend who lives in Hong Kong rang me and said, you have to turn on your TV. Mm. I turned it on, of course, New Zealand nothing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no coverage 20 years ago. Um, and then slowly it dawned on me that my cover that was on the stands on the Monday was Camilla and I was doing a wedding dress competition. Oh. Okay. So I had got a, a range of New Zealand designers to design a wedding dress for Camilla and we were asking readers to... <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it wasn't very funny then. You couldn't well, no, be more no. inappropriate if well, you no, tried. Because the, the media sort of, you know, copped a bit of backlash days after oh, Diana's look, death. I went into work... We decided to leave it on the stand, um, and but I went into work and my entire staff were in tears. The phones were going hmm. off and they were taking calls and people were crying. They were being really negative about magazines, which, which was you know it's a grief reaction mm. uh, so I ended up just taking all the calls because I'm a bit of a toughie and and all I realized was that they just needed to be heard right. so I spent the whole day just hearing and listening and and sort of making people feel a little bit better it, about it's interesting isn't it because you say you remember where you were and I do I remember I was on air for a radio station and I was doing the afternoon show and the news started filtering through so I had to break it on air wow. um, and and you don't quite know how to ever br to do that in words so you don't sound trite but whatever I did I did well because the boss's wife rang me up and said oh you did a great Job. Oh, nice. Can't remember nice now. to have the feedback. Yes, it was. It? Very well, no, a very sensitive time for everybody, yeah. wasn't it? What, what made Princess Diana so huge? I think for so many people, she she personified um, that generation, which is actually my generation. She's about one, she would have been a year older than me. I'm 55. So um, it just personified the the real per person behind the throne. You know, the royal family had always been so barred mm. and publicly not available to us and she was the first one that sort of came out from behind it. and of course she became such a glamour queen and she she knew how to play the media i mean she really did uh, on and, that wendell do you think yeah. she was respectful to the establishment uh i think she lost her way a little bit i think would be the nicest way to say i mean she was living a hell life mm. you know we know all about the anorexia and the you know the way charles treated her and the queen was no no use to her um no help at all so you know she mm. she lost her way a little bit um and then of course she went off and had these glamorous affairs with with dodie who of course was who died with her and she did. Yeah. No, so since your magazine days, you say you've changed a bit. You said you were a bit of a bitch back then. <laughs> so not a bit of a bitch now. <laughs> you're I'm worse. older. I'm older and wiser. Much older and wiser. Um, I, th I think you know you grow up. In the, in the magazine days when I was editing, I was the youngest editor ever at 30, and I was a toughie, hard worker. Mm. You know, wanted to get the best. Very competitive. I'm still very competitive. Uh, but I've realised as you get older, and I've had five children and two marriages, and you just think. It's just, you know, just chill, calm the farm, basically, yeah. is, a, is my favourite saying to myself There's at the some moment. important just, stuff going on. Yeah, the important thing is your kids and your marriage and the fact that you're happy and that you can wander around on my property up north and plant some potatoes and feel really good about that. Absolutely. Like, that's a really good day for me.
Yeah, yeah, calm the farm, and that's why you're a good talkback host. <laughs> OK, look, I've got a couple of quick questions I wanted to put to you regarding Princess Diana. Uh, you know, we still debate nowadays. What's your thoughts on, on the pregnancy thing? Do you think she was pregnant? Well, if she was, we'll never find out. Right. So that's that's pretty much... And I was thinking about that the other day. People get quite grim about... You know, with, with Marilyn Monroe, there was mm. always, you know, who had her body and who saw her body. And it's just, it's just you know, I don't think we'll ever really find out about that. And, and one more... An accident because you know I've watched a lot of shows recently on the a telly. Obsessed, just yeah. No, really no, I, I am. No, <laughs> I am a little obsessed. Very into the princesses. Deliberate yeah. or uh, an element of? I think perhaps, everyone, perhaps. even Harry and William, have come down on the side that that, that driver was drunk. Right. And and that's the the blood level show that. And it, I don't think it helped that there were paparazzi on bikes behind. I mean that obviously spooked him. But he did have high alcohol levels, so I think we all have to say it was drunk driving. Combination basically. of a whole lot of things, yeah. wasn't it? So, so sad. Oh, Just so a perfect fascinating. Story. Hey, well, that was wonderful. Um, great chat. I'm sure you're going to be doing lots of this on your show. Wendell, thank you so much for coming in. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having for me. making the time. Multimedia now. And you can catch Wendell weekdays from 12 to 3 on Radio Live on The Long Lunch. Or you can download the app Rover, R-O-V-A.